Imagine you were a soccer player on the national team, and you just realized that your shot at going to the World Cup is over due to a knee ligament injury. This just happened to 30 women in 2023. Imagine having that kind of opportunity and having it slip away. What were they thinking about during their injuries? What were they doing? Could they be doing something better or different? We honestly don't know. So we need to better study knee injuries. Researchers are trying to study knee injuries like these by putting motion sensors onto players as they play to better understand how players get injured. Ideally, we'd be putting these motion sensors onto players' bones, since that's where ligaments attach. They attach bone to bone. Now we can't go around putting motion sensors on players' bones since it's not feasible and it's quite frankly too invasive. So instead we put them onto players' skin. However, when you put motion sensors onto players' skin, you're not only getting the motion of the bone, the true motion of the person, you're also getting the motion of the muscle, the fat, and the skin on top of that bone that create these jelly-like jiggles that we call soft tissue artifacts. My work aims to get rid of these soft tissue artifacts and get to that true bone motion underneath. So how do I do this? First, I need to find something that can replicate that soft tissue jiggle. And I'm doing this using ballistic gelatin, which is the same ballistic gelatin you may have heard about on crime shows to test, shockingly, ballistics. I'll be using this ballistic gelatin to create a model of the knee that can accurately replicate both the soft tissue jiggle and the true bone motion. I hypothesize that by putting multiple motion sensors on the ballistic gelatin of my models, that they will have a common thread between them, being that underlying bone motion, which we can extract. To test this, I'll be dropping my knee models with different test conditions, being the different angles of the knee models, with motion sensors attached to both the ballistic gelatin and the bones of my models. I will then be creating an algorithm that can remove the jiggle from the soft tissue artifact motion data to get to that bone motion data that we want. So what am I doing in this project? I'm basically just removing the jiggle from motion sensors. That's it, it's pretty simple. And why am I doing this? So researchers can better study real world injuries and we can hopefully prevent people like those 30 women from being injured in the first place. We want players to get back on the field safer and stronger than ever before. Thank you.